the communities are sensitized and organized around ownership, operation maintenance and management of their water facilities. Water committees subsequently register with Department of Social Services and other bodies as water committees. The water committees write proposals for funding organizations to put up the infrastructure. Mimi nikiwa district water officer nawakilisha Northern Water Service Board. Na jukumu yetu ni kuhakikisha tutumewapatia huduma ya maji safi na tunafanya kupitia kamati ya maji ambayo mumewachagua. Since we have started this project now we are almost 9 months old. We have been assisted by the, the DWO Garissa, Mr. Ahmed. They gave us the treatment materials, such as the chlorines, the water guards. The UNICEF also came here. They gave us, uh, they teach us how to handle these things. We are trying to feel it now. Communities are trying to come up with their own proposal. The demand actually for rehabilitating uh, or developing new water sources to be governed is increasing day by day. Each community actually wants to make their water supply commercially viable to reach more consumers so that the water supply sustainability can be increased. Many communities are now enjoying access to adequate, safe water at short distances, reducing the burden of collecting water. However, cultural and religious beliefs affect the participation of women. The central role of ensuring there's, there's water at the domestic level, the biggest burden lies on the woman. Yet the biggest knowledge on how to conserve water is the woman who carries it. We want to change the trend in that the, the women folks are really involved in the decision making. They participate in the management committees. Uh, they actually uh, are involved in the decision in terms of where the sighting of the ball should be, uh, in terms of where the water point should be, so that they can really have, you know, a role, they're, they're really in the whole process. In both water and sanitation, it is important to increase gender participation for sustainable outcomes. We have been doing training programs that are promoting positive attitudes uh, towards gender issues, towards HIV, and towards better sanitation and hygiene practices. Once these women understand that it is also for them to take leadership in management of water, their inclusion into management will help a long way in ensuring that there's a sustainable management and of course a sustainable service provision of water. Another important area is linking service delivery to water resource conservation. Water catchment protection is critical for sustaining water services. An important result for the project is strengthening the safe sanitation and hygiene practices in the community. The benefits are numerous. Communities are becoming more involved. I think we are now beginning to see the benefits of this, uh, you know, the, the impact of the project in the sense that you are beginning to see communities are improving on the management. Communities are holding uh, the wash committees responsible by demanding, you know, uh, reliable services, by demanding accountability for the revenues that have been collected. And therefore, we are beginning to see communities that are becoming more assertive. And lastly, we are beginning to see the participation of women increasing. Thanks to the Water Governance Project funded by the European Union and UNICEF and Kenya government, the communities are becoming aware of their role in water management. They have begun to own solutions to their own water problems. 
with sustained efforts, more communities will continue to access and own clean water.